Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge, we have a cubic equation x cubed minus 64 equal to 0 and we need to find all the roots of this really interesting equation and a lot of students might be saying hey mister we can easily solve this challenge by inspection, we can easily solve it but in terms of math it's not works like that, we need to find all the roots and we, do, we need to do this correctly and step by step. So first of all how can I do this, let's rewrite this 64, let's rewrite this as 4 cubed, so this 64 can be written as 4 cubed, okay, because uh, 64 equal to 4 times 4 times 4 okay and in the beginning we have x cube minus this 4 cube equal to equal to 0 okay this is our equation right now and right now if you look closely we have x cube and 4 cube so it looks like this is our formula a cube minus b cube so formula difference of cubes okay so we know this formula this is equal to a minus b and inside parentheses what do we have right here we have a square so a square plus b square and plus ab plus ab this is our formula so this is our cubic formula we're going to apply this formula right here in this case because this is absolutely our case we have difference of cubes so let's do this so let's do this right here so we're going to apply this formula so what do we have right here in first parenthesis we have x minus 4 and in second parenthesis we have this expression instead of a we have x instead of b we have 4 so let's do this so we have right here x square plus 4 square and plus 4x okay this is our expression right now and of course equal to 0 don't forget about this equal to equal to 0 right now let's look closely right here we can easily simplify this a little bit we can raise this 4 to the second power and we can change position so okay let's do this so right here let's do this so we have right here x minus 4 and inside parentheses inside another parenthesis we have x square plus 4x and plus 16 equal to 0. Okay, right now if you look closely, we have right here a product of two parentheses. So it implies that when a product of two parentheses is equal to zero, then this parenthesis is equal to zero. So we're gonna to sp I'm gonna split this these two parts right here. So this parenthesis is equal to zero or this parenthesis is equal to zero. Let's start for example with this right parenthesis. So let's write an equation. So we have x square plus four x plus sixteen equal to zero. Okay, let's look close. Then this is a quadratic equation, so we need to find our coefficient real quick right here. So a equal to 1, b equal to 4, and c equal to 16. Okay, this is our coefficient. And right now let's find, for example, our discriminant. Let's do this. So our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Okay, let's plug in each of these elements into these spots. So we have 4 square minus 4 times a equal to 1 and times c equal to 16. Okay, let's find this exact value. So we have right here 16 minus 4 times 16 equal to 64. So as a result, we have a negative discriminant. We have minus 48. So it implies that in this part, our square root of discriminant, if you're talking about roots, equal to square root of minus 48, which is negative. So from here, it implies, so from here, we imply that right here we have two complex, complex roots. Let's find all of these roots because in the beginning we need to find all of these roots right here. So let's do this. So in our case, in this second part, I'm going to find x second and third because x first will be right, right here. Okay, real number root. I feel that right here we have real number roots. So in this part, let's find our second and third root. Our general formula minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. Okay, let's let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. We have everything, we have discriminant, we have a, b, and c. Let's do this. So equal to, we have minus b minus 4 plus minus square root of minus 48 and all over to a, which is equal to, which is equal to 2. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. First of all, we can, we can create right here a complex unit because we have minus 48 and we have square root. So we can write it as minus 4 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 48 so something like that okay and right now we can easily see that this is our complex unit so this is our complex unit equal to i so as a result what do we have right here we have minus 4 plus minus i square root of 48 and all over all over 2 but this is not like a final final solution to this challenge because right here we can express this 48 as a 16 times 3 let's do this so equal to equal to we have minus 4 plus minus 
i square root of 16 times square root of 3. We can do this. We can split our square root sign because this is a um, square root property right here and all over, all over 2. Right now, square root of 16 equal to 4. So as a result, we have minus 4 plus minus 4i square root of 3 and all over, all over 2. But this is not a final, a final answer because we can divide right here by 2 and right here by 2. So as a result, we have right here our answer minus 2 plus minus 2i square root of 3. This is our two complex roots. We find our complex root, but let's go back to real number root right here. Let's do this. So we have x minus 4 equal to 0. So it implied that right here x minus 4 equal to 0. And from here x first equal to equal to 4. Okay, so let's let's check this root, for example. We have x first equal to 4. We can easily check it because with complex part, this is like a mm, complicated step to check our root right here. But when we have 4, we can easily plug in. If we have uh, x cubed minus 64 equal to 0, we're going to plug in this 4. As a result, we have 4 cubed minus 64 equal to 0. And as a result, we have absolutely correct expression minus 64 equal to zero so this is a great real number root so let's write our final answer right here we solve this challenge let's write our final answer so our answer to this challenge our answer if you're talking about uh, for example let's separate this uh, split this solution right here okay let's for example start to write our our answer so first of all we have x first equal to four this is our real number root okay real number root x second equal to, let's go with the plus sign, minus 2, minus 2 right here, plus 2i square root of 3. This is our complex, complex, complex root right here, and the third root, okay? x third equal to minus 2, minus 2i square root of 3. This is also complex, complex root right here okay and this is our final answer to this challenge we found our our all roots right here we x first real number root and we have two complex root but a lot of students in the same way a lot of students confused about this uh, question because they think that they can solve this challenge by inspection for example imagine uh, that we have this challenge on your exam something like that x cube minus 64 equal to zero so we have something like that and a lot of students confused a lot of students write that x equal to four we have x equal to four and that it and that it that's it a solution to this challenge they say that okay we solve the challenge we have x equal to four and we go to the next challenge but let's compare a, a solution to this challenge for example this is the first solution right here only in one line and right here this is our second solution we solve this challenge in, in a lot of lines, maybe in 20 lines right here. We write our formula and it's this is better solution uh, for a teacher also because, for example, imagine a teacher uh, check your, your work, teacher check your your homework right here and uh, a lot of teachers see this, this solution. It's this solution. This is a really bad solution in terms of math. This is like a, a teacher will be shocked about this solution because, for example, in one line, when you solve this challenge in one line, this is really bad. But if you solve this challenge, if you think a little bit if you remember if you learn about cubic formula if you if you factor this challenge if you uh, solve this by two parts so in real number root and in complex root this is really really like a great to see of course for you and for your teacher when you solve this challenge for like that like in in this in this way okay this is really important thoughts from me i hope you understand this part and i hope you understand this explanation uh, this question looks like we need to find all the roots okay and you 100% you need to solve this challenge like that you need to find uh, the complex root right here you need to find the real number roots right here so first of all uh, cubic formula right here secondly we need to factor this challenge and the third this is a basic quadratic equation and this is my explanation to this challenge i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learned something new you can also write your thoughts down into the comment section you can also write your solution down into the comment section maybe you have a great tricks to this challenge it will be really interesting to read about it and definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel i have a lot of challenges every day maybe like 200 videos with really really different challenges with really different Olympiad question a lot of like great uh, challenge for you when you prepare for your exam and you remember you have entrance examination a lot of 
the content. So I hope you will enjoy it. You can also write your thoughts down into the comment section. You can also write your suggestion down into the comment section. What do you want to see in my YouTube channel? For example, maybe you have um, geometry uh, part right here. Maybe you want to see a geometry challenge, like finding areas or limit or or uh, or whatever. A lot of uh, content you can see on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it when you enjoy this uh, content and it, it helps me a lot to improve my videos so thank you for your time thank you for your support i really appreciate it when i read your kind comments and it, maybe sometimes it's not a kind comment but i really appreciate it also because it helps me a lot it improves my videos a lot and see you in the next videos have a great day also write your thoughts down into the comment section about this challenge let's discuss about it let's discuss about um, this solution it will be really interesting to read about it and to discuss about it see you in the next videos have a great day also thank you for watching